The final round of the TA2 muscle car series framed by high-tech steel framing returned to hallowed motorsport territory, Calder Park Raceway, Melbourne, some 22 years since the last national motorsport event was held there. In a tribute to the NASCAR heroes of the day, the TA2 muscle cars did a number of demonstration laps on the Calder Park Thunderdome, last used in the year 2000 when Kim Jane won Australia's final NASCAR race. Three drivers came into the series with a chance of taking the outright series trophy, the $5,000 championship ring, and a refreshed McLaren engineering race engine. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, had my little mate Jared Hughes right on my tail there, so it's cool that we can um, take the stuff we learned from Norwell Motorplex and adapt it to other tracks. 18-year-old Jared Hughes joined the series for the first time in the AC Delco-backed Mustang. And Queensland Raceway round winner Nash Morris was also back as part of the two-car TFH team with Josh Thomas. Hughes and Morris dominated qualifying and the top 10 shootout, whilst Josh Haynes, Rice and Dylan Thomas filled out the top five. The series leader gave himself and the team a scare when he clouded the wall in a CXC Mustang during a shakedown session in the wet and needed extensive repairs to make the race to grid. Morris, Hughes and Haynes led the field in race one in dry but overcast conditions. However, the first casualty was series owner Peter Robinson in the Captain America Dodge who found the wall at turn five. Ah, uh, mate, I uh, dropped the back wheel off the edge of the circuit and it sent me sideways straight into the wall. In wet conditions in race two, Nash Morris came under pressure from his apprentice, Jared Hughes, and slipped off at turn one, handing the lead to Hughes, who then dominated all three races to follow. Brad Gartner was the big mover in race two, finishing second. Yeah, yeah, luckily we um, were able to do a little bit of the same as the last run, so got a bit of a gap at the start and then just tried to manage it from there, but it's good, I was just learning more and more as it went on. Yeah, at the start we sort of didn't want to get any issues from behind, so we sort of just wanted to play from the back, but no, nah, um, if, if I was Nash I'd probably be pretty poor at the, at the guys there at the end, but it's, it's racing and I was there at the right time, so cheers. Yeah. Reich knew it was do or die and came unstuck passing Morris at turn one to all but throw his outright series chances away. Whilst Hayden Jackson was the big mover in the wet, up to third in his best TA2 finish yet. Rusty Wright, Greg Keem and Lee Stibbs came together late in the race after Stibbs spun, leaving Keem and Wright nowhere to go ultimately deploying the safety car. This set up a four lap dash to the finish with Hughes winning from Morris and Jackson. However, Dylan Thomas had 18 points in the bag to claim his first national title after 10 years of trying. Haynes and Rice wrapping up the podium. It was good, it was a tough round, uh, unpredictable weather conditions, but all in all an awesome year. Um, Dylan was Mr. Consistent for the year, so he, he did a good job, but obviously I can't thank my team enough, my sponsors, everyone who's been with us this year, it's been a great year, so looking forward to next year, we'll come back stronger. Bates again made it back-to-back -back masterclass titles from Paul Hadley and Mark Crutcher. Uh, it's been a super tough year, uh, everything hasn't gone our way, but in the end we've, we've sort of come good in the last couple of rounds, it's been great. Jared Hughes picked up the race deck rookie of the round, but the Gunnedah gun Greg Keane took the title in the De Beers refinish Mustang. Gartner and Crutcher shared the Hypercoil's hard charger award. Josh Haynes won the Willwood Big Breaker award, and Jared Hughes, the Bowden's own best presented, wrapping up a fantastic season of TA2 muscle car action. With an extended live television deal next year, the first ever New Zealand vs Australia Trans-Tasman Challenge in February 2024 is set to deliver on the TA2 promise of making serious racing fun again. For more details, check out the TA2 website and socials.